So, you're probably wondering, what am I doing here with a hair dryer? No, I'm not blow drying my goddamn hair, okay? I had a little malfunction here with my Korean Bandai Godzilla 91 here. Just found out it's the Korean version because on the tag it says printed in Japan on the bottom of the foot. I'll take a picture and put it at the end. But at the bottom of the foot it says made in Korea. Definitely Korea. Yep, for sure. So, while I was looking at it, because there was a discussion today on the Godzilla Collectors Group, check the link right there, about the Korean version compared to the, uh, the Japanese version. You know, there's some, uh, I guess this is part of a review, but um, there's a paint variation in the eyes. The Korean version has kind of green, green eyes. While the Japanese version has orange eyes. And also, like I said, on the tag and on the foot, it says Korea. This one, on the tag, it says printed in Japan. On the Japanese version, it says made in Japan. Printed in Japan. Anyway, so while I was playing with it, my tag broke. The plastic tag broke. Busted off. No! I like my tags attached. I might end up having to get a new tag because this is starting to wear out. Not, not very good. Not, not my idea of a walk in the park here. So what this video is for is how to retag your Bandai figures. It's a real simple method. And I think I'm just going to go right to this and I'm going to tell you I think I'm going to take the tail off. So what you need to do is grab yourself a hair dryer. Unless you want to sit outside in the hot sun for like a few hours while the damn tail heats up. You're not going to get nothing done like that. You crank this baby on. Ooh, the lights dim. Ooh. And we're going to blow dry Godzilla's ass. And that's where I want to take the tail off. We're going to get it heated up. We're going to heat up that tail. If you can't hear me, don't worry about it. I'm probably going to speed this up anyways. want to pop the tail off. Holy shit. That, well, looks like the goddamn thing from Tremors. Have you ever seen Tremors? Now you're probably wondering, why am I taking the tail off? Because I have the broken tag up here. I'm going to tell you why I'm taking it. Because what about, oh, why don't you just push it in the figure? Wrong. I don't want to hear that rattling in there because it bothers me. You know what the rattling means? It means that somebody pulled the tag off, pushed it in, and then retag it if you got a tag on it. I don't want to hear that damn rattling. Now hopefully, I can just push that in and have it just fall out without me having any difficulties here. Because you might have to heat that up too. So find something like a little pin or something or something to work with here. Push it through. But it didn't work. So you got to find an alternative here. Clothes pin. So I don't want it. So I'm going to retag it. In the same hole. There we go. But where did it go? Ah! There's a rattling. Let's get it out. Yep, there we go. See how easy that was? There's the broken part. Alright, so now, the next step is, sorry tail, look at that, look at it, is to uh, get yourself a new tag. <gasps> where do I get the tags from? Who knows? Like. Where, like, where does, like, do you have to go to the Bandai factory and get the plastic tags? Hell no! I got some. They're not identical, but they're pretty damn close. And you know what? It works for me. I forgot my scissors. I need scissors. Don't go in there, I'll be right back.
Okay, so, got my scissors. So what I want to do is take off one of these tags. Come on, don't be stubborn. I wasn't really going to... Oh, whatever. Alright, so you know what? Just take the scissors. Usually they pop off. Because I've done this a couple few times. Clip it off. Get rid of these for now. And what I want to do is just clip off the excess plastic. Because we don't need that. That's going to make it easier to push into the figure. Okay. So, the next step is... I'm we'll probably, you know what? I should probably put the tail back on first. Let's see if this is still warm enough. See the hard vinyl, it gets cool fast. So now we're gonna heat up again. We're gonna heat up the tail. We're gonna heat up this big old tremor thing. Get it nice and warm. That way I can put it back in the figure. So now I don't know if anybody's ever seen this before on a Bandai figure, but as you can tell, this vinyl on the tail is going to wrap around the vinyl on the inner thighs. I hope you can hear me. If not, I'm just rambling. I I'll say it again when I'm done here. Alright, let's give this a try. So, I'm just going to put that in there like that. Shove his, shove it in. Hopefully this goes back the way I wanted it. Because, not... I'm gonna have to put paws on. And there we go. Just wanna squeeze the sides, make sure it works its way back into position. It's soft, it will cool on its own. I'm not in any dire need to uh see? There you go. Okay, so now we just got a tagless Bandai 91 figure. So the next step is to take the tag, because you want to do this first. Take that end, put it through the loop of your tag. I need a new tag. I think I'm going to add myself a, uh, a, made in band, a made in Japan one here. Okay, so now you got your tag hooked. Okay, so the next step is, is to get your friendly dandy hair dryer again. Now we got to heat up the hole. Where the tag was. Don't forget where the tag hole is. If you do, you're going to be in trouble. But, it's not that hard. Mind it. Take it on. And blow. So heat up that tag hole. Right there on the back of the neck. Okay? Heat it up, heat it up, heat it up. We're going to heat up Godzilla's neck. Hopefully he doesn't melt down like melting Godzilla. And by the way, this Godzilla 91 was made out of hard vinyl. So, once you heat it up, it's soft vinyl. Okay. That's warm enough. So you want to do it while it's warm. I got my little doohickey here. And you're going to take the end of the tag. You want to put it in the hole. Where'd it go? See, I lost it. I'll tell you why I lost it. A, because... Damn light blinding me over here. And because I heated it up. Not good. So you heated it up. It expanded the vinyl. But I found it. It's there. Just gotta play with it a little bit. You know what? And if you can't get it open again. You have to take a little pin, open that hole up. Try it again. Relatively an easy process, but this one gets stubborn. So you might have to play with it. And there we go, caught it. Okay, so now that you got it caught, I got this little thing. I don't know what it's called. We're just going to call it my push pin. I'm going to come over here. Hopefully we can see this. If not, just, you guys got the idea. Push on that end, yeah. Push it in. Okay, so that doesn't work all the time. Caught 
course, first time I'm doing on video, it's going to give me a problem. But that's okay. It's worth it. There we go. Almost in. Okay, so now that it's almost in, I don't want to push this through because that's too big. So I grab, ouch, grab my safety pin to push the rest through. And there we go. So now it's in. The figure is tagged again. And what I like to do is to, while the vinyl is still hot, I like to press it to get that vinyl to close back up around the tag hole. You know, I was even thinking maybe I could heat it up again, but there's really no need to. I'm not really worried about it. But there you go. That is how. You retag your Bandai figures. If you have it tagged, but they're not attached. That's how you retag them. Reattach them, whatever you want to call it. And that's it. Any questions about what I did, just please feel free to ask. Relatively simple process. Oh, by the way, I did get the books. I got them from a hat store in the in a mall. So if you go to your mall where they got lids or one of those hat stores like in the middle of the mall or whatever. Look, check check the hats themselves. If they got these, and you want to retag your figures, ask them, hey, hey buddy, come here. I'll give you five bucks for those tags. Yeah, those tags. And you know what? He's even like, why the hell do you want tags? What are you going to be doing with them? It doesn't matter. Just give me the tags. Give me five bucks. Damn, I actually had two of these, but I gave them to another Godzilla collector so he could do the same thing. Alright, that's it. I'm done rambling. Any questions, shoot me in the comments. Look us up on Godzilla Collectors Group. Ciao.